I actually jumped when I made the video too when that came out. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, look at this. Somebody wants to play. Okay, guys, I'll see you back at this spot. What's up everybody, Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. We are in Tibetan foothills. Now the first thing we're gonna do is take out some guns and lay waste to this endangered eagle. Because Lara is all about killing the endangered species in this game. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I just want to let you all know that this is a walkthrough. I've had a couple people want me to do a foot-only run of this level uh, because I'm doing a, also doing a no pistols run, which means that I need to use ammunition to kill the enemies. And, uh, well, you gotta understand that uh, this is a walkthrough, and I will be showing you guys the snowmobile part, but I will also be doing the foot-only run so that way we can do the challenges and everything. Now, as you can see, when I came down that hill, I did find this little breakaway thing and also a panther or whatever the heck they are. Snow Leopard is what they are, actually. Uh -huh. And I found some automatic ammo inside of this little cave. I also avoid the boulders by doing that. If you're having a hard time getting around those boulders, you can jump over them if you can't find that passageway in time. Now come over here and stand because there's going to be another set of boulders that's going to run down. Don't get crushed by those. I don't think that would feel very good. Alright, let's pull ourselves up through here. We're going to go through some caves now. And be very careful right here. If you run and jump, it's fine. You'll break right through this door. Let's see if I can get on this ledge. Nope. Let's watch a crunch. Alright, guys. I will see you back at the spot, and I'll do a better job this time. I promise. Alright, guys. I'm somewhat back at the spot. I just got past the boulders, and I just want to let you guys know that um, I am going to be doing both of the types of walkthroughs with the snowmobile and also the... Um, foot only version. Uh, the reason why is because for the challenge I do want to use the ammunition on the enemies as if I didn't have the snowmobile, but I will be doing the snowmobile, show you guys. I'll give you guys that want the snowmobile the short version. I'll just try to uh, show you where all the items are as I go through. Coming out here we're gonna find some more eagles. There are two of them, okay? Um, for some reason they're having a hard time fighting me and I really wish I could shoot them up, but yeah. You know, this game does this sometimes. I can't believe I can't target this guy. How are you not targeting him? <laughs> there you go, Lara Croft. Get that other one. Alright, finally, I got rid of those two guys. Okay, so now what the goal is here, you notice the snowmobile across the way. We need to get over there, but there's not a whole lot of ways to get There's only one way to get over there. You can't just run and jump, okay? What you need to do is you need to turn around and fall off this thing backwards, okay? You're going to slide, and then you want to fall off of this thing as well. Now, you can also go into the water if you want. Uh, there's nothing down there, but if you do go down there, there's only one way out, and you need to find this ledge that's right above Lara's head. You can pull out there, and then there's a ladder you can climb that'll take you back up to the top of this thing that I just came off of. You want to find this little cave and find your way through this. 
this is the proper way to go. She'll look up at some spikes, and down below there's just some water that's not going to kill you. Uh, you can also climb out of there. If you run on the left side of these, you won't get hit by them. So good luck there. Uh, you can also just cue them and then uh, wait for a split second before they do any damage to you, so you'll be fine. Alright, so I'm just going to continue on through these caves. We do kind of come back out into the open area. You can climb up there if you want, but you won't get much. You'll just be able to see a couple of things that you're going to want, including the stone dragon. We can't get the stone dragon just yet. By the way, I got a comment here from Nyctofan who says, Stone dragon? I always thought it was silver. And you're not alone, man. Actually, in my first playthrough of this, my first walkthrough, my legacy walkthrough, I called it stone dragon the entire time through there. Um, so or I called it silver, sorry. And uh, I just learned that it's a... Uh, uh, people claimed or told me that it's stone. It's actually stone, and that's how it's written in the manual. Okay, so from here, there's a couple ways you can go. We're trying to get to that large med pack that you see. It's like just above Lara's head right now. What you can do is you can go up this direction and then get over to that ledge and run and jump. But there's actually a quite easier way. It's much quicker. You just run and jump and aim for this slope right here, and you'll be fine. Now, there's another eagle that's going to spawn as soon as I make my way over there. The eagles are kind of mean because they'll push you off and into the water and if you fall into the water at this point you have to start this whole area over again uh -huh. you go all the way through all those caves again so be careful and uh, make sure you measure your jumps properly okay now let's pull ourselves up there like I said there is an eagle out here and I will take care of him as soon as I get to the top here because this is a all kill run and then I'm gonna save my game before I actually get on the, uh, the snowmobile because that's where I'm going to branch the walkthrough you guys will be able to skip to whichever part of the walkthrough you want. I'll put annotations for you guys, so no worries there. Alright, so now we got to fight a couple of guys that we have not encountered yet. They're much tougher than any of the other guys that we've encountered. I'm going to be using the M16, and the problem with the M16 is if you stop or if you, you know, start running from being in the stop position, she'll stop shooting. So the idea here is to keep running or continue to stand still. Well, they're going to be firing at me, so I'm going to try to keep running. Alright, so here we go. Get out here and... Waste that guy. Waste this guy. He got about one shot off on me. By the way, this is actually uh -huh. a somewhat difficult level to get through without using a med pack, but it's possible, and I'll show you all the steps uh -huh. you need to do in order to do that. Okay, so they dropped something. I had a um, large med pack and also some automatic ammo. Over here in this corner is the stone dragon that I was talking about before. Uh -huh. I almost called it a silver dragon, actually. <laughs> Alright, so this is where I'm going to save my game because I'm going to be branching the walkthrough at this point. We're going to be doing the snowmobile first, and then while I'm doing that, I'm going to be showing you the short version. I just loaded my game, but I'm not going to load. I learned my lesson from the Opera House. I'll be giving you guys the short version. I'll just be pointing out where the items are as I go through. Um, and then as, when I come back and do the foot-only version, I will be showing you guys... Uh, I'll be picking it all up and also using my weapons only. Alright, so now we're on this thing with some awesome music. The best thing about the snowmobile when you go through this is that you can one-hit the guys if you run over them. So that's cool. That guy dropped some shotgun shells, so if you want to turn around and pick those up, go for it. When you come into this open area, you'll find that there's not much you can do. Uh, this area over here is where we want to get to. I just took a little bit of life. You can boost your snowmobile by holding the, the X button or the action button, but it'll cause you to lose some life if you run into anything. Let's ramp over this section, and then we want to come over here, and we're going to go along the edge over here. I can actually align her properly. Then we want to find this ramp. Now, we got to be careful. We want to hold the action button to ramp, but then we want to let go, and then even press the back button to get our bearings again. Okay. This thing is actually somewhat difficult to control while you're going through this stuff, so I wish the best of luck to you. And when you get to this point, we're going to have to go up through this, this narrow passage. But before we do that, we actually need to move a block out of the way because there is a block blocking our passageway. It's a lot of blocks in that sentence. But whatever, this is how we're going to go do this. We'll get on this ramp right here, and we'll hop up into here. There's no items in this large area either, by the way. Let's get our automatic pistols out. we got to fight some snow leopards. To the left, as soon as you come out here. They take about six shots from the automatic pistols to deal with. And now let's move this box out of the way. This is the only box we need to move. It's 
so exciting music when there's not much going on. <laughs> That's all right. So it doesn't matter which direction you push this box. I'm going to go ahead and push it this way into the uh, thing because I'm not going to be going through there again. All right, now that we have the box out of the way, we can use the snowmobile to ramp up here. I already have it in position. That's why I did all the ramping and everything first. So all I got to do is get on this thing and gun it. Remember, holding the action button makes you go fast, but if you run into anything, you will take damage, so use the action button sparingly. Alright, here's another ramp we need to take care of. And then into this area, which we can park the bike, or um, you can just continue to go. See, I was holding the action button, took a little bit of damage. Even if you hit it really softly, it still takes some damage. So let's go over here and uh, let's park this thing. Alright. There are some grenades over there, right here, in this corner. You can grab those. Like I said, I'm just going to be reloading the game and get those later anyway, but there they are. Climb up. We need to pull a switch that's up here. It's going to open up a gate that's blocking our path right now for the rest of the level. Okay, so when I came into this area, I went to the right, all right, and um, to get to this switch, if you went to the left, you would have found that gate and you wouldn't have been I went to the left I just died it doesn't matter because I fell off the cliff all right guys I'll see you back at the spot all right guys I'm back at the spot and I made a little terrible fall there but that's fine I got that gate open and I'm about to go out here right this time and not kill myself uh, in order to kill these guys you don't have to uh, oh my gosh this guy's doing some damage you don't have to hold the action button you don't have to go very fast to do any damage to those guys, so... Um, they both drop something, so if you want to get off your bike and go pick it up, then go for it. Um, I forget exactly what they drop, but... Alright, let's get through this. Let's just gun it. There's gonna be another guy right up here we can take out real quick. There's also gonna be another guy right here around the corner, doing some more serious damage. It's ridiculous. Wow, I'm just getting tore up. Alright, so this moto <laughs> snowmobile version isn't gonna count toward... Um, the Nomad Pack Run. Alright, so before I ramp this, I want to point out that there is the Jade Dragon right across the way over there. It's going to show you anyway. Right there, there's the Jade Dragon. You can get off your bike and jump and grab that. Also, down below, there's some uh, grenades you can pick up. There's a ladder right there by that Jade Dragon. You can use the climb down there and get those. There's a couple of leopards down there, too, that you can take out. Alright, so what we want to do here is basically, let's park the bike because we're going to need to go across the stuff soon anyway. Be very careful because these boulders might take you out. See that? See what I'm saying? Let them go by first and then slide off of the same slope that they went through and then climb all the way down. Alright, so I've actually gotten through this without using the med pack, even with this much health, so we'll see if I can do it. Uh -huh. I did get tore up a lot with using the snowmobile. You'll see that when I do the foot walkthrough it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. I picked up a key just now. It's called the drawbridge key. We need this. That's why I came through here first. Get some ammo up because there's going to be a big guy on the other side of this wall who's also doing a crap load of damage. I'm surprised. Like, usually they're not... I haven't had any issues with uh, taking so much damage. Of course, wait till I do the walkthrough to do it. That guy didn't drop anything. By the way, anybody that I ran over all the way through here did not drop anything. Now, there's a switch. Be careful. Don't go directly for it because there you go. You got some spikes that'll do some damage. All right, let's uh, get into position, pull the switch. It's going to open that door. The reason why I'm doing this is because I can't get back out. I have to go through here in order to get out. I mean, I needed the drawbridge key in order to get it. I have to go through all this stuff. All right, so let's get over to this part right here, and we're going to climb up. This is the area where the snow leopards are down below, where the jade dragon was, and the grenades that I told you all about. In fact, this ledge to my right is um, going to be the one... This is where I ramped to, and we're about to go back into that area where I left the snowmobile. Okay, so I have not a whole lot of life, but that's fine. All right, so let's go up through here. Now, be careful you don't kill yourself. There's going to be no more other dudes through here, by the way. I'm going to have to be extremely careful if I want to get through this without using a med pack. Alright, so this is where the drawbridge key is going to go. As you can see, it's going to raise the drawbridge. It's going to allow us to go up to the top there with the snowmobile. So let's get on this thing and... 
head over in this direction, where we'll find this ramp we can take up, and cross the drawbridge using the bike. Or fall off, that's cool too. Fortunately, they make it easy to get up here, so I'm not complaining too much. Just a little bit. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, Lara Croft? By the way, this drawbridge is... This level is just giving me trouble today. <laughs> I feel... I'm, I'm going to be interesting to see how I get through this. Alright, let's do it again. Properly. Sweet. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a warning sign. There's some boulders that want to crush you. Just gun it through here with your bike. And then now gun it over this ramp, too. Okay, be careful because it's very easy to fall down in that pit. Now, as we went through there, we had the earthquake or whatever, okay? And we also broke away the ice that was pretty much preventing you from picking up a key that's over here in this thing. Now, be careful because as soon as you approach this key, as soon as you stand on it, you're going to spawn a biker that you have to fight. First one we have to fight in this level. And he's very tough. So, I'm going to get over here to this key and then I'm going to make my way over here to match him. And just kind of run around in a circle. Try not to let him point directly at you, otherwise he'll do some damage. Because he does have... He has a rail gun on his bike. Oh, he's going to kill me. Alright, guys. I'll see you back at this spot. I'll try to do better this time. Alright, guys. When I went through here last time, I got lit up pretty bad, so I'm just going to show this part again. Hopefully, uh, I don't take nearly as much damage. Make sure you're careful so that way you don't fall off the ledge. Yeah, looks like these that guy didn't do any damage to me this time around. Let's see about this guy. Yeah, see, we're good to go. Alright, guys, continuing on. Alright, I got lit up pretty bad here as well, so let's hope I can avoid some serious damage here. Doesn't look like that's gonna be. Oh, I, that's. Looks like it is gonna be the case. Here's another spot where I took a lot of damage. Let's see if I can. Yeah, this is what he normally does for me, so. I didn't take any damage that time, so. Alright, guys, all the way back to the spot. I'll see you there. Alright guys, once again we gotta fight this snowmobile guy. We're back at that spot by the way, and hopefully I do a better job this time. Try to get both your guns on him, because otherwise try not to let this guy run you over. Oh, he just did a crap load of damage. I'm just doing terrible today. Try not to let him touch you because when these guys touch you with the bike, they do some serious damage. And um, yeah, it's not fun, so I wish I could get on this bike because it has a different music, but oh well. We'll check that out on my uh, playthrough when I come through this on foot. Alright, so now that we have... Uh, oh, wait, before I leave. <laughs> I forgot the most important thing. Get off of the bike, Barcroft. The whole reason why we came through here is to pick this key up. Like I said, if you approach this key, you spawn that guy that's on the bike. You can take that bike if you want, but you can only get so far with it because you need the speed boost from this thing to make a jump. So we gotta take the red one back, unfortunately. You can ride that thing and shoot its railgun, which is awesome. But, yeah, like I said, we gotta leave it behind, so... Alright, so since we have everything done here, let's go back through this. There's that Jade Dragon if you want it. Also, you spawn some leopards when you hop over there. I didn't mention that my first time through here. We'll see all that here when I do my foot through. There's gonna be a ramp, a couple of ramps you gotta do, like right here. And also there's another one coming up in order to get back. So be careful, make sure you don't hold the action button, otherwise you'll probably take a lot of damage as you go through here. You wanna come all the way to the far end and ramp over this this way. Careful as you go through here. Remember, don't use the action button if you can't see where you're going. Especially in here, there's a lot of walls that you can easily hit and lose a lot of damage. And they're very unnoticeable, too. Alright, so now we're back at the point where we cannot take the uh, snowmobile any further. So, this is where I'll be branching the other walkthrough, so I'll see you guys back here. Alright guys, I'm back at the spot. This time we're going to bypass using the snowmobile, and you'll see what this is going to do for us. You can get through this entire level on foot. I'm going to be using my weapons, as I normally should, getting all the pickups and everything, so the M16 comes in really handy in this. As long as you continue to move, like I told you before, this can be very hard if you stop and can't get the shots off. Like I said before, this guy drops some shotgun shells, so let's make sure mm -hmm. we grab that for this walkthrough. 
And now we're going to head over into that area where we did a bunch of ramping with the snowmobiles. But fortunately, this time we don't need to worry about the ramping and we do not need to move the box out of the way. So it's going to make this area a lot quicker since we're doing it on foot. Unfortunately, doing it on foot means that there's going to be a lot of other areas that's going to take longer, but that's fine. I actually enjoy going through this level on foot more than I do on the snowmobile. Let's hop up here. We gotta fight those snow leopards. Let me get my automatic pistols out. Now that they're dealt with, we need to do a special jump here, okay? Uh, it's not hard to do, but you need to be in a particular spot in order to make this jump. You wanna come up this ramp right here and you wanna aim for that ledge right over there. Run, jump, and grab at the very corner. It's really easy to miss that jump, so I wish the best of luck to you guys. And now we're gonna come into the area where we gotta, where you go to the left or the right. The door to the left is shut right now, so we need to open it by going to the right and pulling the switch. Making our way all the way to this end. Don't forget that there is some grenades right here that we're gonna pick up. Uh huh. And now let's climb our way up to the top here. Well, we found that switch before that's going to open up that gate. This also spawns those two guys down below, which is why they weren't there before. Let's fall off. Get the M16 out. Oh, not the... Uh, I want the M16. I hope I don't get seen. I'll jump over here real quick. As soon as she points her gun, just unload. I want this gun out. I don't know why I put it away. I hit the wall and I stopped, so I decided to stay there and finish him off. The nice thing about the M16 is that the range is outside of their range to shoot at you, so you can easily stand back uh -huh. far enough and do some serious damage. Be sure you don't fall into any of these crevices. Run and jump over here. Like I said, these guys drop stuff, so make sure you pick them uh -huh. up. Continue to use the M16, it's definitely the best weapon in this level, as long as you know how to use it properly. We got another guy that's up this ramp that we need to deal with. So the problem with going through this on foot is that there's a lot of area where it's just, you know, long corridors with nothing much to do, so... <laughs> but that's fine, because the snowmobile is actually pretty fun to use, too. Unload on this guy. None of these guys that I'm about to fight right now drop anything, so... One more guy. As you can see, I'm taking a lot less damage this time around. Mostly because I don't have to rely on getting close with the snowmobile to do damage. Okay, over here is that Jade Dragon that I mentioned. By standing here, you spawn two snow leopards at the top of this. Uh, let's get the automatics out because they're the best for killing these things. It seems. I mean, they do the job just fine. And, uh, I mean, you can kill them quicker with the M16, I'm sure, but... There's, they're on the ledge up over there. Let me go ahead and just run and... Let me just get ballsy on them. Alright, they're dealt with. Let's go back over here. I Sometimes they come out into the open and you're able to shoot them from up here, but that wasn't the case this time around, unfortunately. Um, now we need to go all the way down to the bottom here, because we can't make the jump where I ramped with a snowmobile. We have to go down below. And fortunately, they give us the footings, or the, they give us the track that we need in order to do that, in order to make it across. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a standing jump from back behind the wall. It's gonna spawn three of these leopards. All right, they're dealt with. Uh -huh. Down in here are those grenades that I talked about earlier. None of these snow leopards drop anything, okay? So don't worry about trying to pick anything up near them. And here is the area where we can climb up, and we'll be on the other side of that ramp. We don't have to worry about using the snowmobile. I'm so glad that they made it, you know, they made this level so that way you didn't have to use a snowmobile. I think that's just really cool. Climb our way up to the top. That is the ledge on the right that we need to get on. And then we'll have that boulder trap that we saw earlier as well. Alright, once again, let's cue the boulders. 
wait for them to go through and then use the slope to fall down to the bottom. Don't forget to pick up this drawbridge key, which we're going to need. Uh -huh. And we're going to want the Uzis as well. Hopefully I don't take a whole lot of damage here. He's going to run away, so... And he's down. Don't forget about those spikes, okay? Those spikes will do some damage. Pull the switch to open this gate, and it puts us back in that area where I fought the three leopards, and we can climb back up into the area where the boulder trap is. Now, like I said, this level is really long and, like, tedious, especially if you don't use the uh, snowmobile because of the long corridors. There's not much. It seems like there's a lot of large open areas that you can explore, but there's not much items that you can get, which is kind of sad, but that's fine. I mean, the snowmobile is definitely a cool little aspect to the gameplay. I really appreciate what they did with this level. All right, now, so in order to get through this without getting hit by the boulders, you need to run and jump over to this ledge right here. You can easily make it all the way across. Now, getting back is a different story. You can probably do the same thing that I just did, but I'll take another way just to show that it exists and that you can take that way as well. All right, so without the snowmobile, it's going to be more difficult to get through the boulders that we're about to encounter. Make sure you use the drawbridge key right here. And then now we just make our way up the same way we went when we used the snowmobile. Here's the drawbridge. Don't worry about it. It's not going to fall. It's not timed or anything either. All right, so in order to get through this part, you just run and jump through most of this. Be careful. Do not hit your head on anything, otherwise you probably will get hit by a boulder. Be sure to dodge that last boulder because I've gotten hit by that so many times when I was going through this without using the snowmobile. Once you get to about this point, you hear that explosion that lets you know that uh, you can now get the key, but you can't go back. Unfortunately, they blocked the passageway on you. So that's not cool. In order to get through this, you want to jump and grab the ledge over here and shimmy over to the right. Since we don't have the snowmobile, there's no way we can make that jump, but they did provide us with a ledge right here that we can pull up on the other side of it. Okay, so now that we have that little lake ice thing broken away, let's go over here and spawn that guy that's on the snowmobile. Go over here and take care of him, too. He's gonna hit me. I knew it! He's probably the most difficult guy on the bike to, <laughs> to deal with, so I'll see you guys back at this spot. Alright guys, I'm back at this spot. I'm gonna actually save my game, so just in case he runs me over again, <laughs> you know how that goes. Because I had to go all the way back from the hut to get all the way over here, and I really don't want to go through that again if that happens. So, let's save the game, and let's go over here and get this guy, finally, this time. I probably did the wrong thing by flipping out, so don't do that. He actually went a different direction this time. Best, He actually did the best thing possible this time around. And there we go. Awesome, I can get on this thing and get that extra... This thing's got a different radio station, so... <laughs> Alright, so now that we have that done, we gotta make our way back all the way to the hut, because the key we picked- oh, we, by the way, which I forgot to grab after I killed this guy. Uh, this hut key over here is what we need. Don't forget this key like I keep almost forgetting to do. <laughs> Alright, grab this thing. We need this. Alright, so, um, we got a long trek back to the hut, so, uh, uh fortunately I prepared myself with a bunch of comments that I'll be getting to here in a little bit. I'm gonna actually show you this other passageway right here. Okay, we pull this switch, gonna open this gate, and let us out over here by the uh, boulder trap that we had to go through to get here. They give us a ledge so that way we can run and jump back this direction. And now we can go back through this area where we fought all those snow leopards. Remember, we gotta go down. We can't make our way across that jump because we don't have the snowmobile. We're gonna need the red one in order to make that jump, by the way. Alright, so, 
first comment I've got from Epic Jared, who asked me if I'm going to do a Tomb Raider 3 walkthrough. Um, yes, in fact, I've already got it done. I don't really need to do it. <laughs> so if you guys want to check out my Tomb Raider 3 walkthrough, it's a no med pack run as well. Here's an annotation that you can click to take you to the playlist. Really good walkthrough, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Which kind of leads me into my next comment by Steph Dunk, who asks if I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Tomb Raider 2 and 3 Gold. And yes, I plan on picking up Tomb Raider 2 Gold as soon as I get done with this walkthrough. We're going to be jumping right into Tomb Raider 2 Gold, and then after that I will be jumping right into Tomb Raider 3 Gold. I've got everything that I need in order to do those walkthroughs. By the way, you could probably take care of these leopards that I killed earlier just by on your way back. You don't have to do it right then and there. Alright, so we got a bunch of long corridors we got to go through because this is a long trek back. There's nothing new. It's just the same thing in the opposite direction. Okay, another comment here from Try767 asking if I'm using EPSXE 1.9.0. No, I'm not using that version. I'm using a version before that, 1.8.0, because it seems like 1.9.0 kind of breaks the games. They don't exactly work properly or how I want them to work on 1.9, so I just use the older version. I recommend 1.8 if you're going to be playing these games on your PC. Alright, here's a big gap we got to jump. Okay, and I got another last final comment here from David Lara, who says that they seriously love the art that I've been placing at the end of the videos. So they forgets who does it. What I do is I place the links to all of the, the images that I use at the end of each video in the description. So if you want to know uh, where those images come from, check the description. The links are all there. Before I finish, I want to say that this jump right here, you got to get to the corner and then run and jump and you'll make it into this small little gap right there. Yeah, I highly recommend going to check out some of those people. There I get them from DeviantArt and I, you know, I get them I use them with permission from the people that make them. I don't actually just take the stuff and use my axe to the people before I can use it. So, um, you know, go there and let them know that I sent you. You'll definitely uh cuz that'd be awesome, you know, if they see that they've gotten traffic from me, that'd be really cool. So, let them know I sent you. I do use them with permission and the links for them are all down the uh down in the description, so. Alright, now we're back where the snowmobile would be. Okay, so this is where the two walkthroughs would merge. And we got a couple of snow leopards that we need to deal with, so automatic pistols, of course. And they're dealt with. Now let's make our way all the way back to the hut. We're almost there. As I, in fact, it's right outside this, the mouth of this cave, so... And then we got something interesting we've got to do. we got to fight three of these bad guys all in this little tight area, so... And they all are shooters, and it makes this no med pack run interesting, but I have figured out a way to deal with all of them without taking any damage. It's sort of based on luck, so we'll see how well my luck is today. So far, it hasn't been too great. So we use the hut key, we come in the hut, we'll find some M16 uh -huh. ammo over here in this corner. There's two more pickups in here, and they're doubled up, just like that M16 pickup was. We got uh -huh. a pickup for Uzi clips, two of them, and also a pickup for small mid packs, uh -huh. two of them. Awesome. Now, we're going to pull this lever that's going to spawn those three guys we've got to deal with. We also get a cutscene showing you where they come from. Now, I'm still in the hut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Uzis. I'm going to try not to talk during this because I need to focus. This is actually pretty difficult to do. I'm going to do an ambush strategy from here, and I'm going to try and train them around in a circle. As soon as they come around the corner, I'm going to just open up. Okay, I'm not training them in a circle. This isn't going very well. That's fine. I wasn't able to do it without taking damage, but that's fine. I'm oh, still taking away a bunch of life. Yeah, this isn't going as planned. I wish I would have saved it so I could show you guys the... Uh how to do this without taking damage. I said I wasn't going to talk, and here I am talking the entire way through that. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, that's fine. I still have plenty of life to get through this without using a med pack, and I'll show you guys how to do all that. Uh -huh. They all drop stuff, by the way. So make sure you check it all out. Grab all of their stuff. Uh -huh. Plenty of pickups. I believe that the uh, no pistol run will be easy to do, even, if, even though I'm using a bunch of stuff on all these enemies. I've got a bunch of people ask me if I'm going to be killing the monks in the Barking Monastery, and you guys are just going to have to see what I have in store for you guys. Going through this corridor, I'm going to take out my Uzis. we got to fight a dude in a bike, and I missed my ledge. 
This could be bad. This could be bad. I missed. I was wanting to jump over there on that ledge, but that's fine. Uh, and he hit me. All right, that's fine. I'll. I might try to do that whole thing without taking damage again anyway. So I'll see you guys back at the spot or that spot. All right, guys, I'm back in the hut, and before I pull this lever, I'm gonna save my game. Um, so that way, you know, if I die. I can come back here and try to get through this without taking damage. Because it's possible, I want to see if I can't uh, get it done. It really depends on how they spread out when they come into this room, so... I forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and select the Uzis, too, before I pull it. So let's pull the lever, and let's see uh, if I can get this done without taking damage. I know it's possible, because I've done it, so... Waiting here until the first guy comes around the corner. Oh, no go. I hit the wall, unfortunately. That's fine. I took a lot less damage this time around. If you notice, they, you know, they kind of train around in a circle, so that's what I was trying to do, and it's just not working out for me today. Whatever, I'll just do you in the chest. Pick up all your stuff. Oh, cool, I had two of them. Two pickups in one pickup. I had two items in one pickup. That's awesome. I love it when they do that. Alright, if I can get out of this frickin' hut, I'll continue through here, and we'll take out that other guy. Okay, that snowmobile guy. I missed the uh, ledge, and apparently uh, it did terrible, terrible things for me. Alright, so the ledge that I'm trying to get on that I missed last time is right over here, because you can easily just start opening up on this guy, and then just follow him in a circle. Basically what I'm doing here. And he's taken care of. Now, there's no items or anything in, around in here. There's a snowmobile you can get on if you want. You can also have the red snowmobile back here if you want as well, and you can jump over there. The way you get the red snowmobile is you just take it from the hut if you didn't go the... if you didn't take it to begin with. And then you can go through here and ramp. Or, if you take the gun snowmobile, you can use it to get across this ledge. I'll go ahead and show you guys that, just in case you guys want to use a snowmobile through here. So let me get on this thing. I'm not. I'm gonna get off, and I'll come back through and show you how to get through that on foot. Plus, you get the awesome, awesome music. Be very careful, and that's how you're gonna get through that with uh, using the snowmobile. Okay, so now assume that you weren't able to make it through there with the snowmobile. You can jump on some of these ledges, or maybe you can't. I'm gonna die right now. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. Okay, I'll just go ahead and show you guys the other way now. I'll see you guys back at the spot. I'm gonna try the grenade launcher this time around. Why not? I actually haven't tried using the grenade launcher on these guys. But they take two shots from the grenade launcher, so I'm hoping that there's some splash damage. I doubt it, but we'll see. Here we go. Now we're training them in a circle. That's exactly what I was trying to do here. There we go. That's how it's done. You can either use the uh -huh. grenade launcher or the Uzis. Uh, but looks like the grenade launcher worked out a lot better this time. Alright guys, I'll see you back at that spot. Alright guys, I'm back at that spot. I'm on this side of the canyon thing. So, uh, actually we wanted to go on this side. <laughs> That's the, you want to shimmy on this side, okay? You can actually use this side to shimmy back to the other side. Unfortunately, I uh, made the mistake going the other side and I wasn't able to do it. I could have probably shimmied back, but I said whatever. Let's watch Lara Crunch. Because why not? A lot of crunch in this video. A lot of deaths. Okay, so that's not all we need to do. In fact, there's the third and final secret down here, the gold dragon. We need to go grab that. Alright. Now be careful because there's a boulder trap right here. So just jump out of the way. There's also a troll boulder trap. Be like, oh yeah, you uh, dodged the boulder trap, but you're not going to dodge me. I get hit by that almost all the time. So finally, we get the final secret. We get a bunch of Uzi ammo with it. And now in order to get out, just take two steps back if you grab the... Uh, Gold Dragon from that one position, facing with your back to the entrance of the cave. Take two steps back, you can easily jump and grab this ledge. And pull yourself all the way to the top. Now that's not the end of the snowmobile, guys. We gotta fight a couple more here soon. And I'm gonna show you a good trick to get rid of those guys without taking damage, too. It's all about trying to get them to go around in a circle, and then you just kinda get close to them so that way they do a circle around you, and they never point at you so they can't do any damage with their railguns. 
works pretty well. Uh, we'll see exactly how well I'm able to pull it off here. It does take a lot of luck to get through this uh, without dying, so <laughs> that's pretty much the hard part about this level is death. And the med pack run is pretty trivial uh, compared to dying. Alright, so here we go. Let's just use the M16. I actually wanted to use the, um, oh god, the Uzis, but this will work fine. Ah! I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Let's get the Uzis out. I should've just used the Uzis to begin with. What was I thinking? Ah, uh, well, uh, never mind. I'll see you guys back at the spot. Alright guys, I'm back at this spot, and I'm on my way up through here. I just want to let you know that I did fight those guys again, and I used a grenade launcher. I was able to actually kill them in five hits. I used five grenades instead of six, which is pretty cool. But uh, they did more damage this time around, just so you guys know. And let's go down here. We're going to take care of these snowmobile guys. This time with the Uzis, because that's what I wanted to use to begin with. See, now he's going to come out here and go in a circle, but if, as long as I'm within the center of his circle, he's not going to be hitting me with his railgun or with his snowmobile. So this is the idea here when you're fighting these guys. This also works for the first snowmobile guy you encounter in this level. It works really, really well, and you're able to take care of them. All right, so now we got that out of the way. There's no items in this large area. Once again, you can take the snowmobile around in here if you want and drive around and have some fun, but... I don't have a snowmobile. I'm doing this on foot. These are the Tibetan foothills, not the Tibetan snowmobile hills. Okay, over here you find this discolored box. We want to push this into the wall twice. And we're going to uncover the last portion of this level. Now, there are two guys with guns in here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end up using the Uzis anyway, so I'm not going to select a gun. Um, I'm going to stand on this thing, and that's going to spawn them. And I'm just going to take my Uzis out. Come around this corner and ambush them. Try to get them to walk around that circle like I was trying to get them to do over at the hut. Oh, it's not working out. These guys just aren't dying. There we go. Oh, it looks like I spread the damage out. That's fine. Uh, none of these guys drop anything, so let's just continue on through. Uh, this time I'm going to grab the M16 and we're going to take out the last guy. Now you do need just a little bit of life, just a sliver of life, in order to make this fall that we're about to get, because you're definitely going to take damage. Fortunately, the M16 has some awesome range, so I was able to get rid of that guy down there. Now, there are no items in this area, so be very, very careful. What we want to do is come to this corner and then go all the way to the left side and fall off. And we take just a slight a bit of damage, but that's fine. Um, like I said, there's no items in here, so in order to end the level, all we really need to do is dive into the water. In fact, you can dive into this water without taking the damage. There's actually a way you can do it from up above. I should have showed that to you guys. Um, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's just a sliver of life that you're going to lose if you make that fall. And there's no items or anything, so let's go through here, and we will make our way into the Barkang Monastery. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Badass Games. Thank you very much for watching my Tomb Raider 2 walkthrough, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.